Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Wednesday Worship. My name is Josh and I'm the worship pastor at Connection. And we're going to sing a little bit together. The song we're going to sing is called Be Like You. And it's written by a group of college kids from Ozark Christian College in Joplin, Missouri. And this is a song we picked up when we were down there for a conference here this last spring. Really this song and the heartbeat of the song is talking about following Jesus. Of being like Jesus. And as we talk about baptism here today, and as we talked about it Sunday, if you're with us, you see, Jesus calls us to follow Him. He called His apostles to follow Him. And in that call, in this idea of following Jesus, Jesus asks us to be like Him, to do as He does, to love those who He loves. So in doing that, we see that Jesus Himself was baptized. And He calls us to do the same. We're going to sing this song together, and I encourage you to sing it out as an act of worship, but also as a prayer of your heart. God, help me to be like you. Let's sing this together.
together. Make it your prayer today. narcissistic thing. See, at the end of the day, God is holy. And He calls us to be holy. Be holy for the one who calls you is holy, church. Be like Jesus. Well, hey guys, it's so good to be with you for another Wednesday worship. Uh, we're changing the format just a bit, and uh, you might see some different things over the coming weeks, but as for today, I'm here with my friends Danny and Josh. We're sipping here. on our sweet teas because sweet tea is where it's at. And we're talking baptism. So uh, this past Sunday, we talked baptism. We talked about immersion uh, in particular. Uh, I, I still remember when I was baptized, November 19th, 1995. Like A lot of the details are super fresh in my mind, even though it's been a while. Uh, do you guys recall when you were baptized and kind of some of the thoughts going through your head at that time? Uh, August 17th. Uh, 2005 um, was my 18th birthday because I was raised in a tradition that didn't allow for immersion baptism. It was a, um, like, you were abandoning your faith. You were leaving hmm. the church. It was a, it was a, uh, definitely not something that the family wanted me to do. Hmm. I, if I'm doing my math right, I just know it was on my 22nd birthday as well, but I remember sitting in, in Greek class at Nebraska Christian College, and we are talking about that word baptizo, and I'm like, okay, immerse. Well, I've, I've never done that. Mm -hmm. I did the sprinkling thing as an infant in the Catholic Church, and then we went to a Lutheran church for quite a while, which was the same, same deal, but sitting in Greek like, okay, what do I do with this? I've never done it, and then just pondering, what do I want to do for my 22nd birthday, like... I'm driving to see my mom at work, and I think the Holy Spirit just slapped me in the face and hit me like a truck, and I just started weeping in my car, like, okay, God, like, I've, I've accepted you as Savior, but I'm not sure I've really made you Lord, and so somewhere circa 2006, February 2nd, 22nd birthday, yep, took the plunge, went all in, and definitely was a game changer. For sure. As you were describing that, I just had the picture of those slapping contests. Have you seen oh, the guys ouch. slapping one yeah. another? The Holy Spirit just slapped me. It felt like a truck. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably a good, good analogy. <laughs> that's good. Uh, so I didn't grow up in the church. Um, I wasn't baptized as a child, didn't have all of those extra little nuances. So for me, when I got baptized, like that was baptism, baptism mm -hmm. by immersion. Uh, but for you guys, each of you coming from different backgrounds, Catholic, mm -hmm. Lutheran, uh, what was the game changer, really, that went from, you know, I have been baptized as a baby, whether that's sprinkling or whatever, to I want to make this decision for myself as an adult by immersion? Yeah, I think, I think that's it. Like, just to, to think, okay, this is how Jesus did it. I'm, I'm definitely not giving God my whole life, like compartmentalizing some of my sin issues and not giving those over to him. Um, but then to say, yeah, this I need to make this my own, and it had nothing to do with what my parents did or didn't do in raising us. Like that was a great dedication, and and for them to to raise us in the church. But I need to own this and make this decision for myself, and that this is how Jesus did it. This is how I need to do it. So I was raised in the church. I went to I was actually Catholic schooled from uh, uh, pre K to seventh grade, and uh, so I had a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I, I don't want to say pushed down my throat from, you know, for years. But uh, I went to a camp that was put on by uh, a Calvary Christian in Bellevue out at uh, Camp the Risen Sun. The place will always be Camp the Risen Sun to me, not this camp, the Good Shepherd stuff. Right. Um, <laughs> and uh, Camp in the cornfield. Yeah. And I went there as a, you know, while I was in Catholic school too, so it was a little weird. Um, but one night they said, 
you know, take a read, start reading a book in the New Testament and compare uh, that church to our church or your church. And I thought, well, I said to one of the leaders, I said that'll be easy because I'm in the church that Jesus founded. Like, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> and uh, he was like, not so fast, buddy. And he started giving me all sorts of um, literature and information on things. And one of the things that caught my eye was, oh, okay, what does the Bible actually say about this baptism thing? And that set me on basically a three-year, like, studying it. It wasn't something that I just thought I should do overnight. I really wanted to make sure that if I'm going to do this, and this is something that is, I'm going to be leaving the religion of my family over this, then I need it to be right. I don't want to um, uh, go at it from... So I started reading all sorts of stuff, and, and what, I, what it came down to was... What does the Bible say? What did Jesus do? And ultimately, um, when it came to the Greek part, I went into a Greek restaurant one day and I said, okay, what's this word mean? And he said it was like a pickling thing. So mm. it was like that you have to, you know, dip the pickle. Mm. And that's the juice and that's the only way you can Never make Never heard that. of that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't bring sprinkle or pour out of that. It has to be immersion. And then Greek Orthodox, they baptize babies, but they actually immerse the babies. Mm. Some pretty funny videos on YouTube of that. It's no scary, scary, but... It's been a while. <laughs> but I think maybe I've seen some of those. Yeah, now that you say that. Uh, so this Sunday's message, definitely talking about baptism and immersion uh, being the concept, but not just immersion by water. Uh, immersing our entire life into the Holy Spirit, allowing Him to immerse us so that we become more like Jesus. Uh, what were... Uh, some of your takeaways from the morning message? Anything uh, that, that grabbed a hold of you or anything that uh, maybe you'd like to elaborate on a bit more? I know I certainly need to make sure I'm immersing myself in the Word much more and quarantine, changing of schedules, constant new normals, like that part's been rough. So just to, to make sure that I'm immersing myself in God's Word and in, in the words of Jesus, uh, that's huge. And so the last week's definitely been better. Um, but uh, making sure some shape or form, daily reading, it's just got to be there. I'd have to say the same thing. Um, the baptism is a good starting point. Um, but we can't just jump in water every time we feel mm -hmm. bad about something. Um, you know, we Every really, summer camp baptism. Yeah, let's do this again every year. Like, no. Rededication. Um, I... I, oh, like what you said, you know, getting in the Word daily yeah. and, um, you know, finding ways to, you know, serve others and, and live like Jesus is important that, you know, we immerse ourselves that way too. Get pickled. Get pickled. Get pickled. It's <laughs> <laughs> our new baptism shirt. Get pickled. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> What's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> I have some dill growing in my backyard, so if we need to throw some dill and some vinegar in the horse tank, get pickled, church. I think just that uh, that idea of, of being immersed is uh, so all-consuming, and and that was kind of the point in the message, yeah. is that you know it's it's not enough just to get baptized and no like a, a rededication isn't going to help if you're not doing it to begin with, if your heart's not in it when you get baptized, like all you're doing is getting wet. It's really yeah. not helping you out too much and so to immerse ourselves into the word of God is a great foundational point that's what you talked about last week with right. scripture uh, getting into the word uh, being a part of a church family uh, Hebrews talks a lot about uh, encouraging one another spurring each other on and you know getting together in the community of believers which we talked about in week two uh, and, and worship like being there present with God and it's about him and not about us and the reality is that we, we try to season our life with a little bit of Jesus and still keep it about us. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you see in your life where it's been most difficult to fully surrender and to just maybe want to do a little bit of the seasoning, if you will? Mm. Thoughts? Oh, yeah. That's deep. That's deep. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. Yeah, me neither. I can definitely be selfish. Um... And so just wanting to do my own thing, um, whether it's at the expense of my job or my kids and family, like 
wanting to do my own thing and get, getting distracted with stuff. And so just, I've got to be more than just a good person. So the call is to, to be like Christ. And there's definitely times I fall short of that and, and pursuing my own thing. Not that my own thing's bad or sinful, but it's maybe it's not God's thing. It's not my family's thing that he's calling me to, to love on. I'd actually say it's pretty similar. I can be pretty selfish at times too, and I think sometimes I, I replace busyness with holiness, and mm. I don't, I don't calm down, I don't sit still well. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, just in you saying that, I'm being reminded. I don't, I don't even remember who said it, but just getting caught up doing so many things for God, for God, or for the kingdom. Let me do yeah. this for you, God. I'm, I'm doing works as opposed to actually spending time with God. Like, mm -hmm. however you want to word that. That can definitely be a huge thing uh, for myself, and I think just in pastor and church leadership in general. Yeah. You get so busy trying to tend to the needs of the church, uh, not just of the people, but of the church service, making sure that organizational details go together well, uh, that we're making all the meetings, that we're preparing for all the lessons, and all of this stuff we're doing for God, well, at least in our mind we are, and we're trying to do it right. for His people, and we can lose uh, ourself or our own spirituality in that. And that I never. And I think that the times where I felt the most burnt out have been those where I've relied upon myself and my strength to get through rather than immersing myself into Christ. And on the flip side, like some of the best messages I feel like I've I've given, it's really about God giving them through me because I've been immersing myself in his presence. That's good. So any other uh, last thoughts that you guys have on baptism or that you would share with anybody who's maybe contemplating baptism or just this idea of like maybe they're uh, Sunday Christians or casual Christians uh, but really haven't gone all in and, and chased after God in every aspect of their life? I would say if you've come from a tradition similar to mine, um, definitely study it. Um, don't make a decision uh, too rashly. Um, so what you'll find is the truth of the Bible is, is very, um, I don't want to say rewarding, but it's, it is rewarding. It, it's rewarding. It's, yeah. it's, um, definitely study that out. Uh, realize that, you know, I, I know where, where some people are coming from, where it's almost like, a, sometimes family are going to be, uh, not as receptive to that. And that's definitely something that I still, uh, deal with to this day. Um, but uh, leaning on Jesus makes it all the better. I think, again, just in my situation of really knowing I needed to, as, as that Acts passage of Peter's Sermon at Pentecost, like, repent and be baptized, like, I definitely needed to repent of some stuff and, and change some of my ways, even in the midst of being two years deep into Bible college. But uh, if you're sitting out there today and, and you know that maybe you've never even been sprinkled, you've never been poured or immersed like how are you identifying with Christ and I think part of that that immersion what's so powerful too about the mode of it is you, you do have this complete burial under the water like you are dying to yourself like what, what in you needs to die what about your old self needs to die for you to fully pick up Jesus' life and carry your cross daily to, to follow him like we're supposed to I know when I was uh, younger and I still carried the picture of me actually being under the water, if I ever was in a situation where I was tempted or anything like that, I'd be like, okay, that's a picture. I am dead in that picture. Like, I'm in a grave. Like, whatever that was behind, that's done, it's behind. And what I am now is this uh, new creation in Christ. Right on. It's Surrender. Uh, and it really is a, it's a heart thing. You know, immersing your body is a symbol of immersing your heart, your life, your desires, your will. And kind of like the Lord's Prayer, not my will, but yours be done. Like we die to ourselves daily. We follow after Him. And that's the, the goal. So uh, if you have more questions about baptism and actually you know, going through and doing what Jesus did and what He said to do and, and immersing ourselves, uh, we would love to be able to connect with you more and answer any questions you have. You can comment below this video. Uh, you can also... Uh, uh, send us a, a personal message. We will definitely get back to you on that. You can also go to our church website, ConnectionChristianChurch.com. Click on the Grow tab, scroll down to Baptism, and you're going to find a lot of information about baptism there as well. And uh, definitely immerse yourself into some sweet tea. 
Happy Wednesday. Immersion. Be like Jesus. Jesus.